Okay, once again, welcome to the Joint Planning Board ZBA and Deerfield Economic Development Industrial Corporation meeting on February 5th, 2024 at oh, about 633. Right. Could you please read the... I, I would be happy to read the guidelines around hybrid meetings. Mm -hmm. This meeting will be held in a hybrid fashion with the opportunity for both in-person attendance and remote participation. Please note that while an option for remote attendance and or participation is being provided as a courtesy to the public, the meeting slash hearing will not be suspended or terminated if technological problems interrupt the virtual broadcast unless otherwise required by law. Members of the public with particular interest in any specific item on this agenda should make plans for in-person versus virtual attendance accordingly. The meeting will be held in person in the main meeting room of Deerfield Municipal Offices, where we are right now. In accordance with Mass General Law Chapter 30A, anyone intending to record the meeting must identify themselves to the clerk and provide their name and address for the record. All right. Thanks, Emily. All right. Guidelines for business meetings speak one at a time, and this is especially for tonight. Speak one at a time. Follow Deerfield Code of Conduct. Be respectful, considerate, courteous, concise recognized by the chair. And I'll take planning board member attendance first. Kathy Wetroba. Kathy Wetroba here. Andrea Leibson. Andrea Leibson here. Emily Gaylord. Emily Gaylord here. Rachel Blaine here. Satu Zuller here. And Denise Mason here. Oh, Kathy also. Sylvester and Kathy, here. Sorry, Kathy Sylvester remote. <laughs> All right, so I'm, uh, I've opened our meeting. I'd like these CBA to open their meeting, please. Okay. Good evening. Uh, Zoning Board of Appeals will open the meeting at 6.34 p.m. And I think you guys went over the hybrid and the rules well yes. enough for anybody in attendance. So stick with those. We're good. And we'll do attendance. Dave Sharp with me in person. Dave Sharp. Uh, Dave Potter on the screen. Muted. You're muted, Dave. You're muted. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Here, David Potter, present. Good evening. And Gabby Richard Harrington. Gabby Richard Harrington, virtual, present. Good evening. All set. Okay. All set. And Dedek, would you please open your meeting? My name is John Pachark. I'm the chairman of Dedek, and I'm going to open the meeting for Dedek. Okay. We have... Can I remind everyone to please speak, speak into the mic because those online can't hear. We have four members, one on TV, Chris Harris. Here, thank you. Here. Rick Andrioli. Here. And Ralph Healy. Here. And myself, John Pachork. So we have four, five out of our six members present. Great, thank you. All right, um, let's see. We are going to suspend the minutes until at the end of the meeting because we have a lot of minutes <laughs> to approve. So we're going to get right into business. And our presenters are? Yes. So. Should I introduce myself? Yeah, would you please? And you know yeah. what? Can someone, can you, Maybe someone sort of scoot David. around? David. Yeah. There's a chair right, right here, Ralph, if you want. Yeah, yeah actually, that would be great. Okay, yeah. Pick, pick a spot. <laughs> pick a spot. Thanks. And you're going to have to speak really close to the mic so that the folks on virtual I mean, can hear you. This close because when you're online, you can't hear anyone here. Good. All right. I'm Thanks. Scott Cernak um, here for Four Industrial Drive West, uh, South Deerfield. Um, change of use, per, I guess, special permit. Um, for a zoning board and uh, site plan review um, and DDEC as well, uh, approvals. And um, on behalf of Western Mass Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, Inc., that's the business that I plan to operate out of that location. And the owner of the building will also be my business. It's Norava LLC, Norava Deerfield LLC. All right. Thank you. Uh, or do you guys have a do you have a presentation? Excuse me, say, uh, say that again, please. Do you have a presentation? Um, I do have drawings. Uh, I've got, I'll grab them. Okay. Do you, um, Amy, can you put the drawings up? Can you share your screen? 
Uh, yeah, just give me a moment to find them. Okay. Should I go up to the screen or should I try and hold up drawings? Well, if you she if can she see. can get it on there, I think it's only yes, appropriate yes. for you to just go up to the screen. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I don't so know if she did. Sorry, it's going to take a minute. Everything's slow when I'm doing it remote. There we go. How large are your drawings? Okay, <laughs> so let's... Uh, they're not bad. Okay, hold on. I just need to okay. figure out how to... Here we go. Share screen. Um, just only... Okay. Okay. And where did that just go? You know what? In the meantime, if someone was able to hold them up and if you can explain what you're doing, that would be okay. helpful. And then maybe am I on the screen. Am I sharing my screen? Can you see no, my screen? Keep trying. That was yes? No. no. Okay, hold on one sec. Oh, fully. Oh, that's great. Yeah, but someone has authorized that you share screen. Yeah, no, I thought I um, did that. You can share. Well, I'm going to say all. So maybe we should forget about the shared screen at this point. If you there, like we go. No, I got it. Of... Well, when you when you're able to, yeah. okay. okay. That was what needed to happen. Perfect. Yeah. Now, if you'd like to stand there and anybody, is everybody able to see if you want to scoot around or we can scoot the screen around? Sure. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. perfect. Yeah, That's it's great. Fine. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. These are the existing site plan. Um, what changes that? Uh, to give a frame of reference. Amy, can you flip to the next page? Denise, do they have a mic that they can use so we can hear online here? Yeah. David, you can that one. I think yeah, that one takes can, out. You can take it off the stick. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Take it right out of the stand. Can you hear me online? Yes. Yes. All right, I'll start the proposed use of this building. Um, I'm an HVAC company, uh, Western Mass Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, Inc. Um, we employ about 40 employees, a little bit more. Um, we service, uh, install, new construction. Um, much of it is is new construction install. Our employees don't generally need to come to the, to the shop or the office, except for a few office employees. Um, so anyway, I, for the most part, we're going to be using this as warehouse, about two thirds warehouse and about one third will be um, just office space. Separately, I will file a building permit when I own the building um, for the office space. But for this meeting, at least I'm looking for site plan review for the change of use. I'm trying to raise this microphone. And take it right now. Yeah, there you there go. There we go. Perfect. Um, the few things I will be doing, I mean, this property, if you drive by it right now, it's its not really the cleanest property in the industrial park, um, especially when you look at Atlantic, that's thats a nice clean property. I'd like to, obviously I'm not gonna mimic um, Atlantic, but I'd like the general um, the general feel to, to feel like it's, you know, it's the gateway. It's the first building on the right, first big building on the right as you enter Deerfield from 116. So I'd like, like it to look a lot more presentable. We'll plant some red maple trees. That's what those are. Um, a few other hardwoods here. And then we're gonna do a row of evergreens to uh, to shield where I'm gonna put just a couple general use dumpsters. Um, and then this is a bordering property to residential over here. 
So we're going to, we're going to shield that with more evergreens as well. It's already has a decent buffer as is, but you can see through it right now. Um, I'm lucky I'm buying this in a time when I know what I see over here because the leaves are off the trees. So we, we will definitely buffer that with some taller evergreens, some hemlocks and some balsam fir. Um, the only other tree work I plan on doing, there's a few pine trees of which I believe two of them are above the, uh, the size that, um, 60 inch circumference where I will need to replace them. So I'm going to replace them with, with four inch circumference hardwoods here, um, red maple specifically. And that's what those are for. So I can take down a couple of pines around the, the building and still meet, meet all the regulations. So that's the general site plan. Um, we will be doing an exterior renovation as well. A lot of the siding needs to be replaced. So we'll replace a, any and all the dented siding. We're going to paint the entire building. Um, needs a new roof as well. We're going to do a new roof. Um, any Anything that we can do to spruce up the landscaping a bit, we're going to do. But there's no major change of use here other than, you know, nothing that people would notice other, other than um, vans instead of Mack trucks, you know. So that's going to be probably an improvement to noise and say everything else. Amy, could you flip to the next page? Um, we only have the two pages. I need to go into the folder to find the other one. I think this is it. Give me a sec. Maybe. No, oh, no, that's the. It might be earlier. That's not it. Before, like it might be the first page instead of the third. So if you go back two pages. Yeah. Now, hold on, because they sent them to me separately. Um, site views. This is it. Here we go. There we are. Okay. So, sorry, it's just taking its time. There we go. Is that what you were looking for? Yes. Yep. That's perfect. Okay. This actually shows the pine trees that I was in reference to. Those three. And um, you can't see the other ones necessarily. They're on this side. But again, they're, they're encroaching on the roof quite a bit. I'd like to remove those, do some general landscaping that's a lot nicer, and then plant uh, hardwoods in their place, um, four-inch uh, diameter hardwoods in their place in a different location on the property as shown in the previous drawings. Um, all these doors are going to be replaced. I'm probably going to infill two of them um, just because I don't need it so many doors. Anything on the, this is the side facing 116. Um, this has the worst siding damage. They literally drove trucks into the building multiple times. <laughs> so anywhere there's siding damage, we're going to reskin. Um, there's a bunch of louvers here that I just don't need anymore. So it'll be a nice clean look with a building permit that I'll file once I own this. Um, it'll show a few windows and stuff on this side as well, uh, just for offices on the, I guess, on the east side of the building. Um, but that's the only change to this face of the building. The lighting shouldn't really change. It, it's actually pretty decent LED lighting. It seems to face downward pretty well. There's a few sconces that really just illuminate the doors pretty well. It's security lighting. Um, I don't, other than taking it down, putting back up for siding, I don't think I need to change anything with the lighting. Um, everything else is, is it's, I'm not changing the footprint. It's not getting any larger. Um, the general parking isn't really going to change at all either. There's plenty of space for me to park our vans. Uh, we, most of the vans go home at night with our employees anyway. So it's really just office staff that pull in and out of here throughout the day. And uh, so it won't really have any impact on traffic. It may actually be less traffic compared to what it was with Fleet Pride. And um, that's mostly it. Um, I think it's going to improve after reassessed. It's definitely going to improve the tax base. It uh, shouldn't have any impact on schooling, um, jobs. We've been a growing company since I've been in, in business for about three and a half years. Started off with 25 employees and now we're up to 44. So we will grow a little bit into this, but I do think I'm finding about a, a nice comfortable ground around that 40 to 50 employee range. So I, I don't expect anything major here over, over several years. I think that's really all I have um, to present unless people have questions or 
how this works. No, that's great. Thanks. If you could stay there, what I'm going to do is since we've got two set, well, actually three gr different groups, I'm going to open it up to the ZBA for questions first. When they're finished with questions, then I'll have DDIC have yeah. ask their questions and then the planning board. All right. Sounds good. So ZBA. Okay. Good evening. Um, Adam Sukolowski, the chair of the GB ZBA. Um, just want to make sure that, you know, you're comfortable with your special permit application and you know this use doesn't look like it's any more detrimental than the current use there um i don't we don't know of any records of what was granted in the past so um i personally uh, don't have any uh complaints or questions um besides maybe some simple conditions that we would put on the permit that the permit would stay with you would be non-transferable um and that um we did do some research and you now we're trying to expedite things but we technically have to hold our hearing open for 35 days we can conditionally approve it tonight if the board members want to and then um, as long as nothing comes up within that 35 days they can move forward with it administratively uh, dave do you have any questions or concerns no questions sounds great uh dave potter do you have any questions or concerns for the applicant um not for the applicant exactly I'm, I'm i'm just a little curious as to you know if anybody in the in the room <clears throat> has um uh you know a viewpoint on the zoning and and what does it mean to change something i i guess it, it, it you know it was my point is it was zoned this way for a reason um and i'm i'm curious if um you know, it, I, I guess as a board it, with our special permit, we sometimes have said it would uh, it only goes with the owner of the property. And so that wouldn't continue. Um, and I guess I just wonder if anybody in the room or on the on the, the, the meeting video um, cares to shed any light on, you know, because because my my concern and it's not very specific to this case, but it's. Um, you know, uh at what point does the zoning board of appeals say, "Hey, this this was the zoning"? You know, this is the zoning that the that the big plan, the big vision wanted. Um, and if people keep coming to us one at a time and saying, "We want to change the zoning," "We want to change the zoning," um, you know, I, that that's our role. But I guess I'm looking for a little perspective on a historical sense, and and um, you know, so no, I don't have any questions for the applicant. Thank you. So, so they have to come before us because the building inspector, because. It is a allowable use in that area, so they're not asking for a variance, but because of the square footage of the building, even though it's existing, that's why they have to come to us uh, and present it. So it gives us the opportunity as a town as to make sure that it is um, conforming, like, you know, to, you know, he's presenting that he's going to paint the building. I mean, we could condition it that we don't want it lime green. <laughs> um you know so you know on face value his his presentation is showing us that but with the building of these this many square feet that is what requires them to have the special permit even though it is in the correct zoning area per se it's okay. a permitted use so it's not a variance i see Okay. And so if anybody else were to take occupancy, would they be facing the same situation or if they, if they, well, the building and the building inspector determines if it's a, like if someone went there and was going to open a mechanic repair shop, that was the same use that fleet pride had, they would not be required to come to us. But because the building inspector determines that this was a, in fact, a change of use, then and because of the square footage of the building, that's what mm -hmm. requires that. Thank you, Adam. The, just a quick follow-up. Does anybody know, as uh, maybe the owner um, uh, knows, did, did, did the building pre-exist the square footage limitation? Well, if I could interrupt as the building inspector. Go ahead, Thanks, Bob. Yeah, it's not necessarily a square footage issue. The, it was a service shop, and now he, he requested it as office warehouse and a service shop all three of which require a special permit in the planned industrial so i thought it best to send them to the zoning board for a special permit okay so it's it's it is in a sense of then a change of zoning it's not a change of zoning change it's of a use. change of use 
Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate the clarification. Okay. okay. All right. Any other questions from the ZBA? Uh, we have another member. Does she, oh. she has a... um, I think it's great that the building is going to be used again, and I think it's a terrific idea. Thank you. Do you want us uh, to do the board's first or ask it and then take general public comment? Well, I'm, I'm going to ask uh, Dedek to, um, yeah. if you have any questions. I've got a couple of comments. Okay. First of all, uh, can you Ron move closer Dedek. to the mic? Thank you. To run Dedek, we have to make sure that you have a copy of the Protective Covenants. I believe you have a copy of that. I do. Ralph gave it to me. And we also have a second one for rules and regulations of a park. Yes. Do you have any questions on those? I do not have any questions. Nope. It seems very clear, actually. Okay. A couple of issues that we'll have to deal with eventually. As a right, first of all, we have the right of first refusal as a data corporation to buy it from the existing owner. So we will have to vote to refuse that ownership thing. Then you, that clears it for you to buy it. And then we have to have a motion to approve, but we'll get into those later. I also want to point out that we have a meeting on Thursday morning, which is our regular scheduled DEDIC meeting. It's at 845 in this room. So I'd like to invite you down here to that so we can culminate this at that point. Absolutely. This Thursday? This Thursday at 845 right here. Okay. Beyond that, I'll open it up to any other DEDIC members. Ralph, do you have anything to no, I um, I have no further input. I believe it's in line with uh, what we expect there. Okay, one other thing I want to point out was at one time, Data Corporation had only industrial in there. Since then, we've got special legislation by the state of Massachusetts to authorize commercial. So as far as I can see, you're totally in line with what's required, and there should be no problem whatsoever going in there. So now we'll go back to the other members. I don't have any questions. If you come to the meeting on Thursday, then I'll be able to uh, have some specifics, but they relate directly to your timing and use and some of the other things that I'll need in order to make the transfer. Because as the ten you're only going to be a tenant, so I have to make that transfer. So I'll see you Thursday. Excellent. I'll be here. Mm -hmm. Bob? Mr. Decker? Uh, current use. Can you please talk and speak into the microphone? The current Thank use you. in the building. Did you intend to continue any of the current uses? Because they're, from what I understand, they're non conforming uses, which would not be allowed under the zoning in the future. So is there a one to retain any of the current uses? Uh, because once you get the new permit, those are gone. Uh, and and per clarification, the DD area, the planned industrial area, was changed to allow uh, special, special by special permit certain things of which you're filing under. Uh, prior to that, they weren't, wouldn't have been allowed because it wasn't allowed. They, it was basically just to do industrial manufacturing and uh, what have you. But uh, anyway, uh, I just wanted to point that out and uh, take it from there. Oh, great, great question. I am, de am definitely not going to solicit any service for vehicles um, or, or you know, fleet vehicles or anything like that. I guess I can't rule out in the future that I might want to bring in an in-house mechanic to work on our vehicles on premise. Um, I can't rule that out right now, or if I had to rule that out, I would, and I guess I'd deal with it in the future. But if uh, if that's something I should be looking deeper into, I will. I would suggest you talk to your attorney. Okay. And we have Chris Harris. Chris, do you have yes. any questions? Yes, Scott. The only question I have is you mentioned you had to redo the roof of the building. I, I don't know that building specifically. Um, it probably is a metal roof, if, if anything. But I hope you're going to redo it with a uh, EPA-approved, um, Cool Roof Rating Council-approved type of um coating on the top of that roof if you do it with metal so that it's you know environmentally friendly and energy efficient it'll be better for the comfort of your warehouse and it'll reduce your air conditioning cost 
the quote I have right now from Florence Roofing um, is R18 EPDM rubber or EPDM rubber on top of R18 uh, foam insulation. So it'd be foam insulation layered twice, staggered, and then um, rubber roofing over that. Uh, and it's white time. EPDM? I think I think it would be white. I'm not sure, actually. I don't. Because it, if it's black, that's just not acceptable. Right. So, but, you know, we can talk about that offline. I know a lot about that. That will come with a building permit as well, obviously. So, um, okay. I will look into that. But yeah, great question. What color it is? I would assume it's white. Yeah. Black is not good anymore. What will the height of the roof go up when you add addition of the insulation? Or is it going to be under the inside the insulation? Are you going to raise the height on what people are going to see driving by? Uh, what people would see driving by, I think it would at most be at the height of the ribs. So I guess depending on where you measure, if you're measuring in between the ribs, it would be higher. But if you're measuring to the top of the ribs or where the ridge of the roof is, no, it won't be any higher at all. Okay. So, Bob, I think it would be one to two inches higher at max. Question. All right. Are there any other questions from DDIC? What about signage on the side of the building on top? S side, of, side of the building. Um, I don't have a sign permit yet because I'm working on that. And I know that's a requirement for, I think it's above 32 square foot sign. Mm -hmm. um, and I will intend on putting a sign that's bigger than that on the building, attached to the building. And that will come with a separate permit. That's all we have from DDIC. All right. Thank you. Um, planning board? I have a quick. Well, Gabby has her hand up also. Kathy's hands up. So Thanks. If, if he's repairing um, trucks, perhaps in the future, but repairing machinery, isn't that a continued use of a, of a sort? Is that a question for me or the, or the zoning board? I mean, that was a question before. Were any of the uses going to continue? And if he repairs his fleet of vans, that would be a continuation of use. And if he repairs machinery, wouldn't that also be a continuation of use? Uh, Gabby, uh, to answer that, uh, when Fleet Pride was put in there, we're not aware of any permits issued. So if Thanks you own a building that. and you have a non-permitted existing use, and Bob might be able to, uh, the building inspector might say otherwise, they might petition to keep that, but if he's not asking for that, then I don't think we need to address it. Okay. I just had a quick question. Can I start off? Sorry. Um, Rick, can you just tell us, it's a condominium style kind of ownership rental. Can you just explain the DDIC relationship between the property owner slash renters slash <laughs> just give us a quick a quick tutorial there about DDIC. it's all right <laughs> <laughs> well we've done this once before it's complicated i know uh it, D, when DDIC was established several some years ago yeah. what did it it bought the land and then created parcels that could be used by economic or industrial corporations and now you know, maintenance corporation, et cetera. And so this gentleman is buying a piece of property that we as DDIC own, right. and he's our tenant, and we're going to charge him for it. And that, you know, so that's part of the discussion. Right. But that's, I, does that answer your question? Sure. Rachel? I just, it is because it's comp It's a condo kind of, you own it, he owns it, we both own it, they pay you. I mean, I think that the, the relationship between DDIC is just a good thing to review Other for everybody to understand. Protective covenants, they state specifically that the owner owns it, but he has to follow certain rules and regulations, right. Right. which are promulgated in these two documents that I mentioned. And basically what it says is when they want to transfer a property from one person to another person, they have to get permission from DDIC, and DDIC has to vote the right of first refusal, and once we vote that, then they can purchase the property. Then once they determine what they want to do with it, we have to see if it conforms to everything else and blends in with everything within the town, and or at least within DDIC. And if it does, then we make a motion to approve that. 
and then we approve that just like the planning board or ZBA would approve it as they're part of their process. That's all part of our process. Perfect. That's it. I just kind of, the, the steps are perfect. Thank you. That's, yeah. that's all that the explanation. Thanks, okay. John. Um, Andrea's question. And this is Andrea. My questions were about parking for people who will be working in the building and solar panels. Are you thinking about um, putting up any solar panels? Green energy is actually a part of our business. <laughs> plan already we, we install a lot of heat pumps geothermal so on and so forth so yes that would fit our business model very well um that is something we'll look into no doubt but i'm not 100 sure we we have to get an engineer involved to make sure the roof can handle it that's the biggest wild card on to as to whether i'm going to have solar or not on that property but since you're putting on a new roof would you would you plan for such a thing yes Great. as much as possible Thank you. Other questions? Will you be painting it lime green? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. Um, I did want to say um, one thing that we always discuss is um, landscaping and making sure that it's attractive. So I really appreciate that you clearly put some thought into that. That's really nice for our town. And even like thinking about the position and everything. I do think Andrea brings up a good point around solar and alternative energy um, also, um, electric vehicles. I don't know if that's part of your plan as well, um, but things to definitely consider as you move forward. Right. Um, electric vehicles, we could easily do a car charger. Um, I don't have any electric vehicles right now, um, but I'm sure it will be something of the near future. It's difficult with service fans, though, because of the miles we drive, but it would be easy with office staff. Sure. Um, uh, and as far as... Um, you know, landscaping, if you had any questions, let me know. I guess you didn't have any specific questions no, about I just, that, right? I just appreciate every time someone comes with that already answered, it just saves a ton of time because it's something that we really care about is making sure that the sight lines of our town are um, attractive and with the future in mind as well. Mm -hmm. Any, Kathy, any questions? I just have one question. So you are well, very thoughtful about the abutters and how you're going to plant trees to sort of buffer that. Have you had any conversations with, I think there's a few abutters here in the audience. Have you had any conversations with them prior to this meeting? I have not. Okay. Well, okay. On the plan, you're only taking down three trees. That would, that would be one day of maybe a nuisance. There are six trees total taken down, okay. uh, I believe two or three of which are above that 60 inch circumference where I have to replant according to you know the bylaws. Um, but I'm going to replant well and above above and beyond that anyway for my own well doing. You know, this I want it to be attractive for a lot of reasons. For one, um, I don't want to be an eyesore of the neighborhood, that's for sure. For two, who's gonna who's gonna buy HVAC product for me? Who's gonna take our services? Someone who's driving by there says, wow, that place looks nice. I want to, I want to use them as my HVAC provider. I want to, you know, I've got a broken furnace. I need to hire this company. That looks great versus having dumpsters everywhere and no trees anywhere and looking like, you know, the scab of the neighborhood. So it's, it's mutually beneficial for, for the town and for me to make it look nice. We appreciate that. And then what you said too, Rachel. I don't know. I, I I don't have any questions. I think it's a good plan. Change of use. You're not doing any substantial changes other than making things better, you know, from from what I can see. And I, you know, as Emily said, I do appreciate the trees. And yes, um, we would. It would be great if you could look into when you're replacing the roof um, to really think about solar. That would be great. Mm -hmm. um, and Amy, I think, uh, you know, we, you know, we have some basic, you know, general conditions and Amy, could you, unfortunately, they are not printed this evening. Amy. Uh, yeah. Would you like me to read the conditions? That would be great. Okay. General conditions. The applicant is responsible for obtaining all permits, approval, and licenses from other town departments and regulatory bodies as appropriate. The appointed agent for the planning board shall be the building commissioner. If anyone wishes to appeal this action, an appeal arising out of the elements of this decision that is derived from the zoning bylaws must be filed pursuant to MGL chapter 40A section 17 within 20 days of the date that this decision was filed with the town clerk. 
Four, following the 20-day appeal period, a certified copy of the special permit decision from the town clerk's office shall be recorded at the Franklin County Registry of Deeds at the owner's expense. A copy of the recorded decision shall be filed with the building inspector prior to the issuance of a building permit. Five, this approval shall lapse if construction has not yet begun within one year after the applicant has received all state, federal, and local permits. If the applicant for good cause needs to be granted extensions for periods of one year at a time for completion of the project, the applicant may, shall apply to the planning board for an extension prior to the expiration of the approvals. Pre-construction conditions. The applicant shall file a hazardous materials management and emergency response plan with the fire department. This plan shall A, apply to materials both during their transportation and storage use disposal on site. B, conform to all state and federal regulatory requirements. C, include provisions to be taken to prevent the discharge of hazardous materials due to spillage, accidental damage, leakage, or vandalism. D, include procedures to be used for spill cleanup. E, include the training of employees and, where required, the training of public safety personnel regarding prevention and cleanup. F, be updated on a regular basis when there is a change in the use of the property, when there is a change in the ownership of the property, when additional materials are used, which were not on the prior list, and when a material safety data sheet has been updated, revised. Seven, the applicant shall post on site and make available all material safety data sheets for all chemicals used. So employees, fire officials, and or hazmat teams have access to this information. Lastly, construction, hours of construction operation are limited to Monday through Sunday, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. And that's Great. it. Thanks, Amy. So have you memorized that? <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay. If not, we'll provide you with that, hopefully. Um, so at this point, any public comment? And if so, would you like to come to a mic? Mm. Yeah, you can Wait, yeah. come up to the table. Come up to the mic. You can and just, that one? There should be a piece of paper there. If you can just put your name and street address, yeah. please. And if you need Is that a, good? That's um, good. Um, Robert Raymond, I am the landlord of the Danko Plaza that I'm sure most of you are familiar with down the street in Hatfield. And I cannot say more to the town of Deerfield that you should support a young, ambitious young man like this. I've known him for many years. He's going to take um, an older building that really needs a refreshing that is going to give Deerfield increased tax base. He's grown his business tremendously in the last few years from a handful of, empl of employees to over 40, which is also going to bring more people to this community with disposable income, and that the town should embrace young people like this with vision, drive, and ambition. It's what makes a community grow. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well said. Anyone else? No, it's a hard act to follow, but you know, if anyone wants to, feel free to come up to the mic. No? All right. Okay, so so this is this first time we've done a a triple meeting here with ZBA and Dedic and the planning board. So um I mean I'm I'm ready to close public Our, comment. Yeah, yeah. I, I move that we pose close the public comment during okay, the, the for the planning board. Uh, Emily Gaylord second in that motion was Rachel Blaine. Sorry, that was Rachel Blaine. All right, great. Okay. Um, I well, think um, I let think so you do your process first. Yeah. yeah. We'll do and then, then we'll Dedick, or we can yeah. do our process after. Quite different. Okay. I think right. that makes it easier for Absolutely. everybody. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Adam. All right. Um, I think, you know, Amy read conditions. I mean, their basic conditions aren't anything that's out. We have to vote. Ordinary. I vote. Close comment. I vote. Satu Zillow, yes. Rachel Blaine, yes. Oh, Emily Gaylord, yes. Andrea Leibson, yes. Kathy Wittrobe, yes. And Denise Mason, yes. Yeah. And other Kathy. And Kathy, Kathy Salvestri, yes. Sorry, Kathy. Good about her. <laughs> um, okay, so that was a vote to close your hearing. Do you, no, somebody no, want to comment? 
but oh, now pu public comment. Public comment. Public public comment. Okay. And now we're going to we're in deliberation. Deliberation. Phase. Thank you. Okay. Comments. Rachel Satu. None. Anybody? Nope. It looks good. Do I hear a motion? I make a motion that we um, vote to approve this project with the conditions as stated um, earlier in the meeting by um, Amy. That's Rachel Blaine. Emily Gaylord, second. All right, let's take a vote. Kathy Sylvester. Kathy Sylvester, yes. Satya Zuller, yes. Rachel Blaine, yes. Emily Gaylord, yes. Andrea Liebson, yes. Kathy Wachoba, yes. And Denise Mason, yes. All right, so ours is so we're done. We're out. It's on to you, Adam. Boom. CBA. Okay, so zoning board, um, our public hearing is still open. So um, we have the opportunity to condition this special permit um, and speak to the applicant about that. Uh, would any members like to make any conditions on the special permit? Okay, um, I would like to condition the special permit. Just a few things that your um, special permit is non-transferable. It, uh, it is to stay with your ownership group as presented on the special permit. That the special that you provide uh, to the town of Deerfield emergency contact information, um, and that stays up to date. I think that's maybe a little bit they have that too, uh, um, a little repetitive, but we are trying to do that. Also, um, that the work to be completed is as presented in this meeting. You know, um, any significant change for that, um, you need to come back uh, and see us again. Are you okay with those conditions? Absolutely. Okay. So with that, I'll uh, entertain a motion to close the public hearing contingent on nothing else uh, popping into the office from the public within the next 35 days. So moved. Gabby Richard Harrington. David Potter, I second. Okay. All those in favor, I can start on the screen with Gabby. Gabby Richard Harrington, yes. Dave? David Potter, yes. Dave Sharp, yes. Dave Sharp, yes again. Okay, Adam Sokolowski, yes. Okay, uh, at this point, I'll entertain a motion to uh, grant the special permit. So moved. David Sorry. Potter. Gabby Richard Harrington, second. Okay. All, all those in favor? Gabby Richard Harrington, yes. David Potter, yes. Okay. Dave Sharp, yes. Adam Sokolowski, yes. All right. So thank you, CBA. On to Dedek. For Dedek, since we already have a meeting scheduled in a couple of days, for Thursday morning here, we'll just defer the rest of the conversation until Thursday morning. So if there's any further questions, we can ask them and then give you our vote on Thursday morning. That's at um, 45 here. John, I don't know why we can't do the vote right now. Oh. Well, if you John, want to make the vote now, you have to. May I, to, may I ask something? something? I mean, it's, will we postpone until uh, Thursday any decision relative to the application? There are some. There are several questions that still need to be answered about the transition and the and the sale. So I, it's, it's I, a different... I think it would be better to give the the applicant time to bring it before the meeting on Thursday. Okay. So we have one that says do it now. We have one that says wait. I think we have a motion on the floor. Second. What was what was the motion? The motion was to continue until Thursday. That's what it wasn't a motion. I just said that's what I thought oh, we should I made be doing. The motion, Jack. You didn't make I didn't hear that. He won't go through. He won't go near the mic. Okay, <laughs> there's a motion on the floor to continue the meeting until Thursday. Is there a second? Second. Second. Roll call vote. Bob Decker. Yes. Rick Andrioli. Yes. Ralph Healy. Yes. Chris Harris. Yes. Myself, yes. So we'll continue it till Thursday morning. So we're all set for you for today. Okay. For DD, can will we adjourn? Okay. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Roll call vote. Bob Decker? Yes. 
Rick Andrioli? Yes. Ralph Healy? Yes. Chris Harris? Yes. Myself, yes. So we are adjourned, but please sit tight until they finish their business. We're complete. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Do you want to adjourn your ZBA? Yes. You uh, guys can... I'll entertain a motion to adjourn from ZBA. Motion to adjourn. Dave Sharp made a motion to adjourn. I'll Everybody second it. Can second. Okay, for a roll call vote. David Potter, aye. Okay. Harvey Richard Harrington, yes. David Sharp, yes. Adam Saklowski, yes. All right. It's absolutely fine if you leave. You may leave because all. <laughs> I mean, you can stay while we look at our notes. You stay while we go over minutes. So that, that might be a little cruel and unusual punishment. So you are all, all right. excused. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Good night. You want to Thank stay. you. Yeah, I mean, hey. Thank you so much for being entertaining. Thank you. But thank you. And thank you all for coming. Thank you for your Yeah. 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 Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to town. Thank you. I know. Very thank you. good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 I, I can give her anything I want. She just can't give it to me. I took that for I know, I know. I know. This is all. Thank you, boss. Behave. Why? Behave. We're not going to be Bye -bye. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, guys. We, um, if, if, we don't want you to stop conversing, but yeah, if you could you take it, move it on out. out so we <laughs> All right, you guys. It's a very exciting. All right. Yeah. Cocktails outside. Oh, you know, you know, when we went to our train, they said, no, do not be funny during me. There was no humor in me. I'm not capable to decide. I didn't even know train. But it's like no humor. And I was like, oh, it's so good. Come on. I'm unwilling to. I just offered cocktails. So. All right. Are we going to go? That wasn't right. We're going to go minutes. Then well, that problem, but if right. you're going to be communicating with each other, which we love, can you just please. do it outside of town hall, please? Okay. This is our fault. This is our fault. Exit the building. Yeah, we can just keep going. Oh, we okay. can just keep going because we're right in here. So, so the next is. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm going to have tacos. Okay, then we're, we're going to go up. Icebreaker. Should I? Should I? Kathy, can you hear us? Can you hear us? Yeah. Okay. I know. Yeah. We're kind Obviously, of in the bubble here. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, move. That is cool. Move. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I yeah, no, her. Oh my God! It's all homework here. Whoa, Kathy! Congratulations! Okay, Two thirds of the way there. Okay. Planning board, thank you. <laughs> well done, guys. Okay. Woo! Well, that was exciting. <laughs> so, next thing on the agenda is the, the approval of the minutes and i just want to say thank you amy for doing that <laughs> yes and keep up the good work okay so if everyone has had a chance to look at the minutes i'm doing them one at a time okay
So do I, we've got the minutes of 420. Do I hear any additions, corrections? If not, do I hear a motion to I accept? We, okay, the minutes from April 20th. With yeah. Kathy Wittrow by second. Okay, and we've got to do roll call for everyone. Kathy Sylvester. Kathy. Kathy Sylvester, yes. Okay, just. Satya Zoller, Epstein. Rachel Blaine, yes. Denise Mason, yes. Emily Gaylord, yes. Andrea Leibson, yes. Kathy Wittrow, yes. Okay, thank you. All right, that's passed. Minutes for 5 8. Any additions, changes, corrections? Nope. Okay. Satu? Satu Zola abstain. I move that we accept the minutes of oh, Andrea <laughs> from May 8th. Order. Sounds good. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay, Lord, second. Okay. Yes. All Satu. Abstain. Rachel. Rachel Blaine, yes. Denise Mason, yes. Emily Gaylord, yes. Andrea Andy. Leibson, yes. Kathy Petrobi, yes. Okay, thank you. Minute, minutes are yeah. accepted. Minutes for 522. Do I hear a motion? I move that we approve the minutes from May 22nd. This is Emily Gaylord. Andrew leaves in seconds. Okay. Uh, any corrections, additions? No? Okay. Satu. Satu Zoller, abstain. Rachel Blaine, yes. Denise Mason, yes. Emily Gaylord, yes. Andrew Leibson, yes. Kathy Petrobi, yes. Kathy Sylvester, yes. No, I, I, I think you weren't there at that one. Okay. I, I think you have to, I, I'm, I'm not, I sit on the board and they let the person who's not there vote on the minutes. Oh, mine doesn't. They don't, right? But we never, should, have, either, we never have either. So I think it's a, I well, think you abstain. Unless you've watched the, if you watch the, the, the video. If you watch I, the recording and read them, you can, according no, to no, the, I, I according to the Mullen rule, you can. Okay. All right. There's no point. In doing I know. I know. So, uh, minutes of six, five. This is Andrea Leibson. I was not present. And in the minutes, it says not only was I present, but that I voted on things. I believe I watched them the um, mm -hmm. the meeting today. I believe that you confused Anna Lee with me. Okay, so so maybe okay. if you can make that change, if you can make that change, please. Thank and you. And then I did watch the um, the meeting. So if you'd like me to vote, I will. Otherwise, I will abstain. So, but you. So it would be a correction that um, Andrea was absent. Right. I got yep. it. If you feel more comfortable abstaining, that's fine. Okay. okay. Do I hear a motion to accept those minutes? I move them to accept them with that correction. Okay. Do I hear a second? I second, Rachel Lane. Okay. Um, any, okay, we've got the corrections. Okay. Satu? Satu Zola, abstain. Rachel? Rachel Lane, yes. Denise Mason, yes. Emily Gaylord, yes. Andrea Lewison, I will abstain. Okay. Kathy Trevi, yes. All right. And we'll final. Kathy, no, Kathy. Kathy, you weren't there either. I abstain. That's easy. She, she Not you, the other one. No. Oh, absent, yeah. Kathy Sylvester, yes. It said you weren't there either. I don't know. Just, I'm going by lists. I don't know. If I, I think I've missed maybe two planning boards. Well, then just abstain. I'll abstain. I'll abstain. I'll abstain. Okay. I'll abstain. Sorry, who's abstaining? Was that Kathy Watroba? Two minutes, it says you weren't there. Okay. It says, I, I can't hear who's abstaining other oh, than Satu and Kathy got it. So oh. I was, we're talking now about the 20s. Well, you know, if no, you abstain, no. we're all set. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. all right, the last okay. but not least minutes of 1 8. Um, I have a correction. <laughs> uh, I think Kathy, Kathy Sylvester was present and that Kathy Watroba was remote. I was right. remote. Mm -hmm. Okay, on which? On the uh, uh, January 8th. The 8th. Okay. Yep. All right. Yes. If you could make that correction, Amy, that would be great. So, Kathy Sylvester was present and Kathy Watroba was remote? Yes. yes. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do I hear a motion? I move. We approve them with that correction. Uh -huh. Andrew leaves and I second. All right. Um, Satu. Satu Zilla, yes. Rachel Lane, yes. Denise Mason, yes. Emily Gaylord, yes. Andrew Leibson, yes. Kathy Wittrobe, yes. Kathy Sylvester, yes. All right, so all the minutes are- I wasn't there. What? I wasn't there. I'm not voting because I wasn't there. I'm looking, I'm sorry, I got thrown off because we, did we just jump over June 26th? 
We did. We're now on one eight. One eight. One eight is the one I didn't wasn't at. Right. Okay. So oh. we just voted in June twenty sixth. Is that what you're telling yes. me? Oh, boo. Okay. Well, then I vote yes. No, the last one, one we eight. voted was one eight. Yeah. Okay. Well, I wasn't there, and so that correction should be noted because yes, uh, it says I was. Okay. And I wasn't. I okay. Was accent. Mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. All right. So you so you still need to do June twenty sixth, I think. Yeah, I think we haven't done June twenty sixth. That's the one. Which is just one page. So one page. Four. June twenty sixth. We didn't do. It. We did four twenty. Did with five eight. Did with five twenty two. But we haven't done. Okay. June 26th. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, you didn't. Yeah. We did. We went. Oh my yeah. God. Okay, June twenty sixth. Any corrections? Do I hear a motion? I move we approve the June twenty sixth minutes. I second that, <laughs> Andrea. Any corrections? No. Okay. Satu. Satu Ziller abstain. Rachel Blaine, yes. Denise Mason, yes. Emily Gaylord, yes. Andrea Leibson, yes. Kathy Wittrobe, yes. Kathy Sylvester, yes. Kathy Sylvester, yes. Good. I think we are all set with the minutes. Because I did not make the motion to adjourn, which is actually shocking. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is true. And so that would be, it was she. Oh Lauren my gosh. I wasn't even involved. So obviously I wasn't there. Obviously. You were the, you were here in spirit. That's that's what counts, Rachel. I'm right. sorry. Which one is this? That was the January eighth. I wasn't here. Okay. Do I have you down as being there? Or yes. Were... Yes. Yes. But no, but you don't have me anyplace else. Just uh, maybe voting in favor of things. But but not. sorry, it's it's hard to hear you guys on the tape. So yeah. I might have um, made a guess, and you weren't even there. Oh well. Well, I'm a very positive person. Okay. <laughs> Stop being funny. All right. I think we are now all set with the minutes. I'm going to go on to any reports. I have a few things. Anything that is new and exciting? Kathy Wittroba, Andrew Leibson. Same old, Lee. same old for the mm -hmm. open space. Nothing. Okay. I just have a few things to report. <clears throat> Our new um, planning and economic development director, Christopher Dunn, along with the select board. I, I was at a select board meeting on Zoom last Wednesday. And so we are applying as a town for a DLTA, Dunn asked me what it stands for, grant to conduct a campus master plan that will be part of a greater master plan. So we're putting in yeah. for both of those because our master plan is 23 years old uh -huh. and should be updated every 10 years. So I don't know what the timeline is on that, but I'll share details as I get them. Okay. So can I just for clarification? So it's a, it's a campus master plan and a master it plan. Is. I mean, two separate, there are two separate well, grants. Well, there are there. Well, I don't know. There are three. There's three separate things that he could list for the DLTA, and so that's what he listed. I I forget what the third one was, but those two were the really, you know, important. I mean, the other one was too. Yeah. So at any rate, I I don't know exactly what will happen. Whether they'll do the whole thing because that's to the tune of at least twenty five thousand dollars to do the master plan. It's a very lengthy process. Whether FERCOG has the ability to do that at this point, we don't know. But you know, I'll keep you posted on what what happens with that. Um, another thing is that I was wondering because oftentimes we don't hear what's happened after things go, you know, by the planning board. So I asked Amy, and she sent an email to Vesh, the um, mm -hmm. veterinary clinic, asking when they will start construction mm -hmm. on their parking lot. Yeah. And yeah. I don't, I don't know, Amy. Have you heard a response? No, I have not heard a res I have okay. not gotten a response. Okay. Um, so, you know, I can check in again. It sort of went off my radar after I sent the email. I need to remind myself, like, if people don't respond, I, I, I just spent a lot of time them. there and not so long ago, <laughs> unhappily. And um, they are very hot there for their addition. Yeah, no, well, they're talking a lot about their addition. So they're jumping right over the, the parking lot. And I wonder if that's not... So anyway, I think it's worth really pushing because I wonder if they're not waiting. Um, it could be. Could we ask their engineer? Because he was the he one was. who talked to more than 
that was John. Um, yeah, that might be good to ha reach out to their agent and firm. John Furman. Yeah, Furman. Uh, it was wonderful. Well, the thing is, is that they have a year to do that. If they don't, they can ask for um, an extension. And within that, one of the conditions was that they had to do the landscaping within two years of when they did that, because we knew that they were going to, you know, do an addition onto it. So, so that that's the report on that. I mean, can I just say the one thing? They don't have a great track record with us. They're they they have moved for. Uh, at one point had to we had to retro approve some changes okay. it's a, so they just need to be they, they their management is more of their business and not very much of yeah. their plants so i would well i'm pretty hard on i th yeah i mean i think we'll have to keep on them because you know the initial uh the uh, detention pond is like total, you know, weeds. It's a big mess, and you know that was that was a big thing with doing that. So anyway, we'll we'll have to keep on top of them. Um, although we're not, you know, I don't know, I don't know what we do, you know, what we do as far as enforcement is concerned. Well, we just keep looking for the updates. Yeah. So okay. Um, and um, then I, yeah. I'm sorry, I, I can uh, check and see if they ever got a, a certificate of compliance for their detention pond. And if they haven't, okay. they can get on their case. Yeah. Well, they, yeah, that's interesting because when we were there, I mean, who was there? Andrea, you went, I was, I was there. Oh, okay. The three up. And it was full of cattails really mm -hmm. weeded over. So, I mean, I'm sure it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. And then the next, um, other than knowing that sunny days has begun to clear a few trees, I don't think anything's happening with them until the spring. Okay. And the last thing is, I know Kathy had asked about it, housing production plan. We've all been wondering about housing production plan, and that is 13 years old, and that should be updated every five years. So at this point, that is on the list of things. Um, I think it depends whether we do get funding for the master plan. If so, we'll probably go through a similar process as we did with the zoning bylaws with mm -hmm. Mercado mm -hmm. or whomever. But housing production plan will be on the list um, to be updated. May, may I ask a question about something that also ha happened that was a site uh, visit that we made the, um, on the landfill and the solar panels that... Well, I don't know what's happening. All I've heard that they are trying to renegotiate the lease deal. That's all I've heard. Okay. I, I, just... I haven't heard anything else, which is you know pretty disappointing because I thought that was going to be... Agreed. That they would be doing that. So that's that's pretty much all I have. I have, a couple, I have a couple of committee announcements that okay. there will be a senior ad, ad hoc senior housing committee is having a tea with the neighbors this Sunday. Um, just trying to get feedback from the neighbors for the um, senior housing project and um, the CPC. It's time for applications to come in and if you're on a committee and you want to, or you have some idea you want to submit, the deadline is March 1st. All right, thanks, Kathy. I have a quick question. So have we heard back from Cumberland Farms about the retention back there too? Um, Cumberland Farms, that is now really over in mm. um, in the CONSCOM Okay. It's in it's Got in their it. um it's in yep. their yep. court and they've okay. been following up with that. And I you know, I didn't listen to the last meeting, but they're okay. right on top of things. Right. I yeah, I can uh, tell you that um they uh Cumberland Farms presented to the CONCOM. The CONCOM has some questions about, you know, this is basically how specifically they're gonna drain and redo the pond. So that yes, that is ongoing. Okay, great. Yeah, no, good question. Yeah. And I, th I think I think I think it's good that we keep updated so mm -hmm. we see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know because that's exactly what happened with Vesh. Nothing, you know, that sh it shouldn't be the way the way that it is. So I don't know if we have any recourse on their current um, detention pond that's grown over, but I don't know. Is that a question for Bob, Amy? Um, I can look that up. Uh, look, I'd, you know, I'll look interested. at the. Look up uh, Vesh. And I'm not sure whether, you know, if they come with another project, whether that can be one of the conditions to clean up your old mess. 
<laughs> before you can <laughs> no, do yeah. anything else. Sure. Well, that's yeah. basically what we're doing with Cumbies. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 Which I, th yeah. I think. I can uh, the check the decision in the, the storm water to see if, you know, what the conditions are and, and if they are meeting them. And I also want to say that I have started to make spreadsheets when you guys make a decision. I make a spreadsheet out of the decision and I try and follow up and make sure um, we are getting the things that we are supposed to get. And I'm filling out the spreadsheet to say, yes, they've called to tell us who their engineers are. And yes, they've done their fire department permit. So I am trying to keep track of this stuff for you. Thank you so much. Right. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. We appreciate that. That's helpful. We like organization. <laughs> Okay. I try. Um, so cool. if there's nothing else. Yeah. Oh, I move that we adjourn. Sorry. As I was looking at for this really interesting article that I saw, I was wanting to share with I move that we adjourn this evening. Um, anybody I second it, that? Kathy Sylvester. Thank you, Kathy. Satu so Zoller, yes. You. Rachel Blaine, yes. I got really distracted. Denise Mason, yes. Emily Gaylord, yes. Andrew Leibson, yes. Kathy Wachobi, yes. Kathy Sylvester, yes. Mm -hmm. End of recording. Meeting adjourned. Meeting adjourned.